guys, it's me, K-Star Moon Life After, and this message is going to be for my Gemini. Gemini, I have not, oh boy, I have not done a reading on you guys for a while, and I do apologize for that, but this is for my air sign. Um, I hope all is, is well. Um, thank you to my new subscribers, and for those of you who have been with me from the beginning, thank you. And um, for those of you who are just now tuning in, please feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Dang. So that, so that when I post a video, you are notified. Okay, so like I said, this is for my air sign. Um, also, too, I want to say um, everyone who is in, if you are from Broward or Dade County, South Florida, um, please stay safe. I know about the tropical storm. Well, I think it's now it's a hurricane. I think it's a Category 1. Hopefully, that crap has not upgraded. Um, so we all stay safe with that. I really need to check on that because I'm like north of you guys. Um, yeah, stay safe because I know you all dealing with a lot of COVID issues down there as well. Um, also, too, if you would like to donate to my channel, please feel free to, to donate um, to help out my channel, to help it grow. And for those people who that you know need help, um, shoot them, you know, give them a shout out. Show them my videos, you know, so that they can... Check it out. I have me have some messages there for them. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, my disclaimer. So you know how it goes. If the shoe fit, wear that shit. And if it doesn't apply, let it fly. Okay, just let it float on. Don't don't try to make it stick in your life if it doesn't. Okay. So like I said, Jim and I, we're gonna go forward and see what the universe has to tell you. Okay. What messages? Holy Spirit, Father God, what messages do you have here for Jim and I? Okay, King of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, ooh, the Ace of Pentacles, okay, ooh, the Three of Cups, the Queen of Cups in reverse, ooh, and the Five of Pentacles, the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Wands here in reverse, so there is some communication here that has been blocked, Gemini. You know, you have blocked someone, I'm feeling. I'm feeling this is your energy. This is an energy here, Gemini. First of all, I want to say, Gemini, I feel like some of you are doing really well for yourself. you got the King of Wands here, the Six of Pentacles here, and the Ace of Pentacles here. Um, your actions, you're giving back you are going to steadfast in abundance here. So there's going to be a divine offering here that you're going to get from this. This could possibly be the energy of someone who... Um, you could have given to. So Gemini, I'm picking up... You may have loaned someone money. You may have given to someone... This person didn't possibly pay you back. Something, something, someone, I feel like something someone was supposed to give you back in something. And this person could be blocking communication from you. Like avoiding you. I'm also getting this sense here, this could be dealing with a friendship. It's something that you got the Three of Cups here, the Queen of Cups here in reverse, and the Five of Pentacles here in reverse. So the Five of Pentacles upright is someone who's being left out in the cold in reverse. It's someone who is starting off new, like their troubles are done with. So I'm getting mixed energy here, Gemini. Some of you are cutting off communications. Uh, you could have been in a third party diff, um, situation. You're cutting that off. A person may want to explain this to you. You could be possibly dealing with a situation with friends. You know, sometimes the three, you know, this could be like your own, um, like a sisterhood, a brotherhood. You rejoicing with friends and everything. I feel like you are disconnecting yourself from that. You could be dealing with someone who is envious of you. For some of you with this Ace of Pentacles, like I say, 
You're going to start coming into money. You're going to start off new. Being independent. Hmm. Let me see. Holy Spirit, clarify the eight of wands here in reverse. Why is this eight of wands here in reverse for Gemini? Let's clarify the eight of wands here, Holy Spirit. Lack of patience. This is either... You are blocking communication from someone or someone is blocking communication from you and you're lacking patience from this. I feel like someone took something from you and moved forward without even notifying you. Hmm. Let me see. Holy Spirit. Uh... Clarify this Three of Cups here. Why is this Three of Cups here for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising? Why is this Three of Cups here for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising? Incomplete. This is a relationship that that made that made you feel incomplete. Something was incomplete here. Holy Spirit, please clarify the Queen of Cups here in reverse. Why is this Queen of Cups here in reverse? Or you're not too sure about a love interest. Relationship is one-sided. Please clarify the Queen of Cups here in reverse. Balance. I feel like he was in a third party situation. Someone was juggling you. Five of Pentacles here in reverse. Why is the Five of Pentacles here in reverse? You know, the world card could also be about traveling, so you're not moving towards to go see this person. Why is the Five of Pentacles here in reverse, Holy Spirit? Five of Pentacles here in reverse. Holding out. Stagnant, not too sure on which move you want to make. So either you have not left this situation yet or you will, Holy Spirit. Please clarify the King of Wands. Who is this King of Wands here? The Page of Wands here in reverse. So someone was received a message that they didn't want to hear, they didn't want to know. It's something you don't want to hear. You lost patience with this situation. Holy Spirit, please clarify this Six of Pentacles. Why is this Six of Pentacles here, Holy Spirit? Y'all, if y'all hear that growing, that's my dog over there eating my pit bull. He does the most when I do readings. Why is this Six of Pentacles here? Ace of Pentacles. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Give me one second. There was some deceit here in the home. Someone was giving, okay, so here it is. You blocked off communication and you lost patience with someone, okay? Could be dealing with the fire sign. Here you have the king of wands here. So I'm getting a sense that whoever this king of wands is, um, either this person is not communicating with you or when you guys do communicate, it's like really brutal. Like the things that is being said it's either they don't want you to speak their truths or it's just that this person is in tro is in total denial of the actions that they are taking. Okay? Then we have here the four of wands here and the six of pentacles. So this is about a home structure, like stability. Um, The six of pentacles. 
I just feel like someone here, if you really look at this card, it's like, okay, so you have a person here who's giving more to this individual and this person um, is behind them. It's like as if though someone turned their back, someone turned their back on someone or Gemini, this could be you basically turned your back on someone. And I feel like it was for a good reason because you have the Ace of Pentacles here and the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords here is all about um, being backstabbed, basically. But what I'm getting here is that, you know what, Gemini, you're saying that this is not going to happen anymore because you got the Ten of Swords here. The Ten of Swords is all about completion. Whatever you was dealing with, okay, you felt incomplete with this. And I do feel like this was like a third-party situation. Okay, you were being juggled here. Okay, with the Two of Pentacles here and the Queen of Cups here. The Queen of Cups here can be... Um, I feel like you, you, you started to take on like this arrogant type of attitude. Which it was justified from what I am seeing here. Because the things that you were seeing, the things that you were feeling... Um, you basically cut off the communication here because here you have here the five of pentacles here in reverse and the hangman. So the five of pentacles and the hangman in reverse, the five of pentacles in reverse is all about someone who's setting off new. Like there was obstacles. There was things that you had to go through. Um, but then again, it's this energy like some of you are not too sure if you are ready to take that leap of faith and leave this situation here alone because you got the hangman in reverse. Some of you, some of you are not too sure if this situation is something that you want to leave. Hold on one second. I'm going to go back here to the top, and let's start from the beginning, okay? So we're going to clarify the Eight of Wands here in reverse and the Temperance card, Holy Spirit for my Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and in Venus. Please clarify the Eight of Wands here in reverse and the Temperance card here in reverse. Get Wands in reverse and the Temperance card here in reverse. Mm, the death. Yep, something changed. Something changed. You put an end to it. Okay, you put an end to the shenanigans, um, Gemini. Holy Spirit, could you please uh, clarify the page of wands here in reverse and the king of wands? Why is the king, ah, the page of wands here in reverse and the king of wands? The page of wands in reverse and the king of wands. Okay, you gave up on a situation. You put an end to it and you gave up on a situation. Someone could have very much well went and started supporting another home. Okay, four of wands here and the six of pentacles here. Why is the four of wands here and the six of pentacles here for my Gemini's? Sun, moon, and rising. The four of wands here and the six of pentacles. Star card, okay? Is a situation that need to be healed. Could be dealing with a, another um, air sign. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Let's move forward. Ace of Pentacles here. And the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here and the Ten of Swords? Pentacles here and Ten of Swords. Got the Ace of Pentacles here in reverse. Okay, no offering. What I am getting here so far, Gemini, you cut off with communication with someone. You lost patience with this person. You changed that. You put an end to it. The communication that they gave you, you just gave up on the situation. This person possibly had came back to you and said that, you know, they wanted to heal the situation, the brokenness of the home. 
However, clarifying the Ace of Pentacles here and the Ten of Swords here, um, like I said, the Tens always represent an ending. So when this person tried to come back again with another offering, you, was, you wasn't going to deal with it. That's what I'm hearing. World card here in reverse and the Three of Cups. It's the world card here in reverse and the Three of Cups. Holy Spirit. Yep, it was too much of a burden to keep it going. Too much of a burden. You was carrying too much weight to keep this going. Too much, too much weight in trying to in trying to make it work. The Two of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups in reverse. I don't know why people like to play these games. The Two of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups in reverse. The Moon card. You was you you're really clear. You're really clear on where you stood in all of this. Holy Spirit, why is the Five of Pentacles in reverse and the Hangman in reverse? Five of Pentacles and the Hangman in reverse. The Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like basically here, this is you working on yourself right now. You've totally just tossed everything to the wind and you are now working on yourself, um, Gemini. This is what I am getting. Yeah, look, the lover's card here in reverse. There's not going to be any new beginnings with this person. Look at look at this. The lover's card here in reverse. I mean, the two of cups here in reverse. The ace of wands here in reverse. Okay. The page of wands here in reverse. The knight of swords. It's like a lot of confusion. Yeah, so eventually, eventually, so here we go. You have the four of wands here, upright. Okay, so eventually I do feel like I'm, I'm shocked that the Eight of Cups did not um, come out. So eventually you guys did walk out of this. The offering that they, that they were trying to give you, you did not accept it. There was no new beginnings with this, as you can see here. And here you have the Four of um, Wands here in reverse, which means, you know, it's basically like a breakup. And here it is with the Four of Cups here. You're not taking their cup anymore. You're starting off new. And it's the same thing with the Five of, of Pentacles here in reverse. P five of Pentacles is basically all about going through hardship and starting all over again and moving forward. You know, you know your worth. You're not trying to, even though this person is trying to hold on to you, okay? You're not trying to put any passion into this, but this person is going to want to hold on to you. You possibly could be dealing with the fire sign or an earth sign, okay? Because you sacrifice too much. And basically, you know, you know you are the shit. You sacrifice a lot. You know, there's someone out there who will um, offer you their cup. And here we have it here. The Knight of Cups here. I feel like there's someone who's going to come towards you, Gemini. And they're going to start off real slow and steady with the Knight of Cups here. Okay, this person is going to romanticize you. Okay, it's going to be your heart's desire. This person's not going to come with any conflict, okay? No conflict and no third-party situations is what I'm getting. And look how, look how it reverse. Look at this. You're going to have communication with someone. This person, you're probably going to be telling this person how you feel, everything that you have went through. I feel like this person is really going to console you. Um, your anxiety is going to go away with this. Okay? This is what I am getting here. But your person is going to feel incomplete, but you're going to make your decision already. And here's the Eight of Cups here. Your person is afraid to be alone. I do not feel this is you. Your person is afraid to be alone. This is you setting out on the world. Look at this. You're setting out of the world here. Look here. Oh, my goodness. Do you see this? Your person is afraid to be alone. Even though they're doing all of this crap, your person is afraid to be alone. But look how you got the two of wands. You're starting to think now. You're starting to think that, you know, okay, listen, this doesn't work for me. I feel like this is you. You are the emperor here. Okay? You have acknowledged 
what you need to do to move on forward in life. That's what I'm getting. You're tired of the disloyalty, okay? And the fact that, Gemini, you have this awakening, look at how you're looked at. The Six of Wands. The notoriety. You're going to get your wish. Whatever that wish fulfillment it is, you're gonna get your you're gonna get that wish. Check this out. Your person here, they're gonna be so much holding back onto the past. They're gonna be thinking about everything that they have possibly have done to you. Okay? They they they're not even gonna know how to even come up with a way of even apologizing. All the secrets are out. All the secrets are out of the bag. They, this person is gonna be so much. <laughs> Oh my God, this person is going to be so much in a confused state. They're going to feel um, inadequate. They don't want to be alone. Do you see this? They're possibly going to be watching you or having friends watching you. They do not want to be alone. They fear of being alone, but yet they're doing all of this BS. Holy Spirit is telling you, Gemini, use your intuition. Okay, for some of you, this may be hard for you to deal with, but you're going to end up leaving this contract with this person. You're going to end up leaving this soul ties with this person. It's, it, it, it's going to take a little bit to try to move forward with this, but you're going to do it. But you know what Spirit is also saying here too? Guess what? Oh boy, you're going to manifest this. Start thinking ways to get out of this because they're going to have their tower and you're going to be the king of wands here, okay? And guess what? You're the king of wands, but however, I feel like your person here is going to have, they're going to be full of regrets. They're going to be so sorry that this happened. They can't get you back the way that they want to, okay? You moved on. And you found your king because you lost patience with the bullshit. And when you found your king is when you found balance. And I'm not saying that in a sense of, listen, people always want to say, you know, I don't need somebody to make me happy. No, you don't. But let's just be honest. It, you know, human beings are made to have companions. It's always been that way. And there's nothing wrong with bringing someone in your life that, bring balance but not confusion okay because you come to a realization that that person that you was with was toxic i can't make this shit up okay this person was toxic coming with all type of addictions and everything this person was toxic and this is you queen of pentacles you're going to be moving forward towards looking at your money, looking at how to make your, 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 your life stable. You're going to defend your truths because you know what you see. You believe in what you see, and it is the truth. And justice is going to be, going to be served. Oh, my goodness. Because you are released from this bondage. There's a lot of deceitfulness person thinking that they're going to get away with something and you just decided not to give your cup no more because all you want is happiness. This shit going to put that person right into isolation but you're going to get new offerings. You're going to get new offerings while this person is hurting and while your wheel is turning and this person going to be stagnant. Stagnant. With nothing but con confusion. I can't make this up. And brokenness. And now that six of pentacles that you had here. I'm going to show you this. Okay. They're not going to have that no more. This is their unhappiness. But you're going to go from a seven to the eight. While you leaving them out in the cold. And there's no, and there's no sunshine when she's gone. Do you see this? I can't make this up. And they're going to be sitting there wondering, what the hell did I do? Why you don't went and took a leap of faith on a new life. 
and it's done. You're done with that. Wow. I just did the whole reading, the whole deck on y'all. I just did the whole deck. That's something. I think it's damn near beautiful. You know, you give a person a chance, a chance, a chance, and they take that shit for granted. And then when you when, when you gone and you out of here, um, they don't even know how to even deal with that. It's just ridiculous. Let's see. I'm gonna use the um the kipper. Spirit want me to tell you, don't, don't start. You know, a lot of times people stay in a situation because they feel guilty. I had a girlfriend tell me, the guy that she with, um, he's 53, she 47. And I'm going to tell y'all this little story. And this is why I say you can't feel guilty. This man has been, she works two jobs. And she's been with him since he was um, for like 11 years. And this man constantly, you know, he, he always having these damn projects, these projects. Oh, yeah, when this come out, when this and this and this and X, Y, and Z. Her thing is she feels guilty for leaving him or for telling him that it's over because, well, really, I really don't know what, we, <laughs> now that I think about it, she feels guilty of telling him to go. Because he's not steadily on his feet. But damn. And I had to give her an epiphany. I had to tell her, listen. He's 53. You've been in with, in, with him since for 11 years. And this man keeps saying the same thing. Let me tell you what people do. What a lot of times these people do in these, relationship, in these relationships, especially men. They will tell you. Once they get to know you, they know what to say to you so that they can stay there. How the hell it takes somebody 11 years to get their goals established? And you, what is he possibly going to do? He's 53 years old. What is he possibly going to do now? And I had to ask her, you know, you need to check yourself. Like, who are you putting first? You got to put yourself first because apparently he's not putting you first. He know what he's doing. If he did not do this three years into the relationship, it's 11 years later. What do you think is going to happen? Why are you feeling guilty for securing yourself? Because basically, he needs you more than you need him. That You the privileged lady. He needs you more than you need him. Period. We got to stop, especially as women. Dog, y'all, spirit just want me. Especially as women, we feel so guilty a lot of times. Oh, well, he's not in a position. But you know one thing about these men, and you know I hate to be gender specific on this, but I'm just going to say this. A lot of these men don't give a damn if a woman got 10 kids from him. And let me tell you, when the time is right, when the iron stri strikes hot, he's out of there. He don't give a rat's ass as to how you're going to continue living, taking care of his own offspring. So why do women sit there with this guilt? Why? Preserve yourself. 2020, and I'm going to do a video about this. Because now Spirit is telling me I got to. 2020 is a year all about preparation. So whomever this is for, prepare. We're about to have a storm in South Florida, prepare. COVID-19, prepare. The economy, prepare. Somebody not doing you right, and you may need them to help pay some bills, but you know you need to get the hell out of here. See, that's why y'all got that five of pentacles in reverse and the hangman in reverse, because you're not too sure. You know you're not going to sacrifice for this person too much, but you're not too sure about yourself because you need to prepare. You got to have a plan. That's what it is. You got to have a plan. Oh, somebody? Okay. So you're going to end up in court. Judication. Privileged lady. Judication. This is what I'm saying. That's the plan. Community. So I feel like, yeah, I was just saying that. Family room.
So some of y'all are more than likely going to end up in court dealing with child support or dealing with the marriage or splitting assets. You could have been with somebody for so long where you need to split your assets. And Spirit is basically saying too, to for me to tell you that, you know, get your stuff in line to protect yourself. Especially if you're not married and this is like a common law thing or you all been living together for a while. You may need to do that. You can't make this shit up. Like this person needs you more than more than you need them. Just know that. Hmm. Let me see. I'm going to say this and I'm going to go. You know what? I'm not going to pull from this. Pull this one more thing. Hold on. And I'm going to let y'all go, Gemini. Don't feel guilty. Don't feel guilty. It is what it is, and keep it pushing. Let's see what other message here you want to give me for Gemini, Samuel, and Rising? What other message here? And we're going to keep it going. Yep, caring connections. Because the connections that you're in right now um, is not caring. Okay, look at this. The man holding a coin. That's in reverse. In decisions, you know what you need to do. These are in reverse. Okay, so this is the energy of that person. Do you understand the man holding a coin, caring connections, in decisions? It's like... I just feel like this individual is not even really helping you financially. Adjacent possibilities... Contracts and the world card. So this is how I'm feeling, Gemini. Right here, this up here, these three here, I feel like this is your person's energy. This is what you're dealing with. Caring connections in reverse, in decisions in reverse, and man holding a coin in reverse. So this could be a situation with a man that you with, or oh, he could be given off to someone else, and you're finding out about this. This is why you had that Six of Pentacles there where it looked like the man was given to that woman and he had that woman behind her, behind him. Okay, this is what I'm feeling. But then, look, this is you. I feel when you leave this situation, you got the world card here. Okay, so the world is in your hand. Adjacent possibilities and contracts, okay? So this contracts could be dealing with um, this court case here. Okay, just get your shit in line. Start reading the books. This is the justice card. Could be dealing with an air sign, another air sign, okay? So this is you. Blind justice, this is you. <laughs> Blind justice, you don't see the justice that you're gonna get yet from this, but it's coming. It's going to happen. But you got to use what the universe is giving you, okay? You, you, you really got to be in tune with everything. But I feel like it's going to work out for you. It's going to work. Okay, Gemini? So with that being said, I am K-Star Moon Life After. Like, share, comment down below, and I will see you next time.